Hi, this is Tapcat, and welcome to Battle Brothers. Today we chase down some brigands to challenge them to a snow fort battle. Although I might have forgotten to tell them we were bringing pitchforks and swords to the party. All right, before we leave this bustling metropolis, they do have one thing I think I'd like to buy. Let's go ahead and pick up the pitchfork. And then um, I will come in here and give this, well, let's think about it. Rave has 20 defense. Well, yeah, that's actually the worst of anybody I've got. So we will go ahead and give him that and move him back here. So we're getting a little closer to building out our back line. I'm good with that. And then we're going to blow this dump and head to Helvicombe. See if we can get anything interesting over here. And we can certainly have the potential to hire another man. Um, what about food? I'm getting a little low. Let's go ahead and scoop one of these up. I think I also going to grab the tools while I can. We've been to a lot of places where it's really expensive. I'm going to do this for 177 and then who's got the crappiest armor Hartwig for sure and while we're on Hartwig you know I was thinking about his status as an individual who's missing a nose and in that situation as part of a mercenary troop men who are no doubt sensitive to another's feelings I think they would give him a nickname and I think it's pretty clear that it would be something like that. You know, because that's what guys do. Let's just be honest. Okay, so we just, you know, we beefed up our defense on the front line again. I still have some pretty crappy armor. Now, do I have, a, you know, of course there's no contract I can take. Uh, I could try recruiting somebody... But, yeah, that's pretty rough with the amount of money I have. All these guys are really expensive except for him. And I don't really have gear to give him. Oh, that's one thing I will do. Is there a pike or a pitchfork or something that's cheap? And there is not. Okay, then I won't worry about it. I might come back and get that padded leather, but I want a little more money before I do that. So, let's come over here next. Uh, I got a feeling that I'm going to have to wait until morning for that. But overall, I am not unhappy with how things are going. We've had a remarkably light casualty list so far. And of course, I should never say that out loud. Yeah, okay. We'll just camp until morning. Which is pretty much now. Come on, don't be shy. So no contract. I could get more food. I'm not sure, you know, I need to do that. Okay, at 142, I can't resist that. Um, also, this is a pretty good price, but I am starting to get really low. I'm going to go ahead and take that. And let's do this. Uh, who has the worst? I think it's him. 35. 55. Uh, 50. Okay, it's him. So you can take that. And this stuff's only worth 20, right? Oh, 30. Okay. Well, 35 is better than 30. That's uh, my advanced math skills at work. So we'll give this guy the better armor. And then poor Niels, he doesn't have any headgear at all. I kind of forgot that I had taken that from him ages ago. 
Okay, so I won't buy more tools or anything. We obviously need a contract before we do that. Uh, so I think the logical thing to do would be to come down to Sand Camp. And let's just see what's what here. Uh, they have a contract, which is pretty awesome. And let's see. Let's talk money. A thousand crowns and it's oh three skulls. I I I won't be powerful enough to do it. That's why he's offering a thousand. I would need to be significantly tougher. Um so I'm gonna say no. It'll be so long before, you know, we could do that. I'd rather just clear the quest completely. It's too much. God, that kills me. That was a thousand crowns. That's a lot. That's a lot for me at this stage of the game, but I need to actually make money, not just lose all of my men in some battle that we can't win. Okay. Um... No contract there, so I'm going to run out of money. Maybe I should have been less aggressive about buying some of that crap. I don't know. Hopefully, Summerstad will give me a chance to make some money because I'm about to be broke. Yeah, we won't even be able to pay our men for the next day. That's not good. So I wish, you know, maybe if I'd have bought a little less food, but the reality is I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> I needed all the food that I bought. All right, here's a contract at least. Kill the brigands. Okay. Um, Can I get more? No. All right. I just got to do it. It's only one skull, so. Where are they? If I can find them quick enough, then maybe this won't be too bad. Come on. Jeez, we move slow. Come on, man. Don't let him get... I don't want to fight him in the frickin' forest, okay? These guys are probably like Robin Hood or something. Dude, move. <laughs> Alright, it's thugs. We can handle thugs. In the snow, no less. Okay, let's wait. Come to me, little pretties. Okay, so if I move again, I believe I can attack. Yep. There you go. I'll wait. I'll wait all these guys, let them come to us, and then see if I can get an attack in. That's definitely a thing. Okay. Yeah, step right up, boys. Step right up. Okay, so if we come down... Alright, well, he can't attack anyway, so I'll just end his turn. And you come here, and he can't attack either. The only guys that are going to be able to attack are the ones with Pathfinder. And thankfully, some of us do have that. So, we will at least, well, maybe that one attack is the only one I'm getting. I don't know. Okay, I got a decent shot here. Ah, uh, doggone you, Niels. All right, I feel a little awkward moving here because I feel like he's going to get completely surrounded. I got an idea. I bring him here and I shield wall. And then I'm going to move him here or here. Now I'll move him here and I'm spear walling. I'm very nervous about putting him here. I'll put him here. And I think he'll get an attack next turn. 
Okay, you reload. Now, I would really appreciate it if you would hit one of the mean, mean men with an axe. Okay, that was better. That was definitely better. I'm going to wait with him. He's... Oh, doggone you. Wow, he really hit him hard. With his stupid knife, no less. Okay, well, I'm going to try to kill him. He's a big priority for me. Okay, you wait. These guys are going to move forward. I don't need to destroy armor. I need to kill. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to work on this guy. Because I'd like to protect Radolf. I mean... Oh, they wrecked my shield. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, let's see if I can do this guy. Gerhard has a 75% shot. I did injure his hand. That's really good. And I think his chest. So hopefully that guy won't be able to hit us. And I think I think Radolf took a little more damage, but nothing too terrible. Okay, that guy has a buckler. Let's try to split it. We didn't split a stupid buckler. There we go. It's gone now. Okay, Honka, can you kill this thug? Yes, you can. And their morale is getting shaky. So, can you give me a good start on this guy? No, but I won't hold it against you. I'm torn whether to come down here, and I think I'm gonna. I really don't like these guys with the axes. They're super dangerous. I want to go back to using one of my axes. Actually, now that I've got the halfway decent armor, maybe I will equip one of the axes. Okay. Yep, I really want this guy. He's running. That's sweet. So he ain't going to do any more damage. All right. Unfortunately, I got to move him forward. He's probably, yeah, he's not attacking this turn. Okay, Minolf's shield is doing yeoman's work here. As is he. So that guy's running, and this guy's also fleeing. So I'll just try and hit the guy, you know, that's close to dead. Obviously, I would like as many kills as I can get. I think I go here. And then... Yeah. Wow, we have... That whole row is fleeing. That's amazing. I actually can't remember hardly if I've, you know, had a time where a fight was going that well for me. And especially in terms of morale, where we just racked that entire area and none of their guys <laughs> wanted to stay in the fight. Okay, so let's see. Now, if I move Hartwig up here... The nose just might turn the tide up this way as well. Well, he snippied that guy's armor pretty good. All right. So those two are the only ones left. And I think uh, with his armor starting to really take a beating, I would rather use shield wall and be safe there. They don't have any axes. So it's not like, you know, they're really going to be able to um, bust his shield or anything. I think, I, yeah, that's what I thought. I still need to move with him. Let's come here. I should have a good shot now, and I do. Yeah, baby. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Now, Godric, would you like to finish him? Good man. That's good. So we're down to just one dude. Can I get him here? Yes, I can. Yeah. This guy's pretty much done. In fact, he's fleeing. So I'm not going to bother moving guys that can't possibly get there. 
I think um, this fight, thankfully, is pretty much over. Ah. Uh. All right. That's it. He's done. We got one level up out of that. Let's grab the loot. Nothing amazing, but I lost a shield and I got a shield back. So that's actually kind of cool. Now, before I forget, because this happened to me once before, um, let me equip that shield. So his Will Reich lost his. So where's that one we just found? Here it is. Boom. So now everybody on the front line has a good shield again. And what happened? Poor Radolf has an injured shoulder. And what does that do to him? 20 miles. So he's going to do 25% less damage. Okay. Well, hopefully I can get here before anybody deserts for lack of... Oh, we're up to 100. Oh, we got gold crowns when we attack those guys, when we beat them. Sweet. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I can afford to buy armor. Uh, it wasn't here. It was at the other town. But I could dump some bucklers. I have two, three spears. I'm not going to equip those. I mean, I maybe will use these. Let's get rid of one of the daggers. I'm not going to use the stick. I'm not going to use three flails, although I probably should equip more flails than I have now. Because we're getting like no armor ever. So maybe instead of wrecking their armor, I should try going for the headshots. Let's try this. Let's give two guys side by side, you know, the flails. And see what that does for me. Uh, maybe I'll give this guy a spear. Yeah, in fact, we'll kind of go spear heavy here just for a fight and see how it works. I probably won't like the fact that we don't have... Um... Hang on just a second. Do I want to hire anybody? I don't have access to another pitchfork. No, you know what? We're... Oh, what about food? 61. Let's come down here. Oh, wow. It's far. Yeah, okay. Have I been to Hornwald? I think I was. Let's go to Fuchsburg. All right, I'm sorry. I lost my train of thought. But basically, I wouldn't mind hiring another guy, but I'm a little light on money. I also definitely need more food. We're actually, yeah, I, I guess I should have just coughed up the extra money. But I think we can make it to Fuchsburg. So basically, whatever it costs there. Oh, brother. So... <laughs> Radolf just somehow like flexed and cured his shoulder because he's buff like that. That's pretty awesome. Okay, and there's a contract here, which is even more awesome, but I need to eat. Oh my, oh, that's salt. Okay, I thought it was um, this. Okay, let's do that. And, you know, if I get enough money out of the contract, I might even buy some salt. We made a hundred off that last one. But, wait a minute. I have salt? I thought I sold the salt. Am I going crazy? I guess I am. Okay. Maybe we looted it. I don't know. I need a small chest delivered to Sigma in Dorn and wow. Okay, that's a long ways. Ugh. It's so far. All right. I don't mind because I'm just going to leave here anyway. I guess before I go, although I don't have a lot of money, 
Is there anything here I want to buy? Maybe. Yeah. It's risky. Because I really don't have a ton. But where's Dornan? It's down here. Let's just haul butt. I think I'll be okay. I wish this was more money because I really would like to just recruit an 11th guy. Then we would be just one away from our goal of 12. And um, that's also like the most you can have in combat. So anybody we recruited after that, we would be developing like a reserve force. Okay, so I got my money, and there's two contracts waiting for me here, which is cool. Uh, but I just don't have enough to fool with as far as recruiting anybody. So let's just do this. Um, this is ridiculously expensive, but it is the cheapest food they have. So I just have no choice. Uh, the salt is not selling for a good price here. So let's just see. I'd like to hire you for escort. Yep, that's fine. 130. Jeez, that's ridiculous. Mark Dwarf in the Northeast. Is that that one? Oh, okay. I don't mind getting paid a little for that. <laughs> that's so close. Yeah, that's easy money. Okay. And there's two contracts here. Yeah, so that's fine. Um... And let me actually see if, I don't know, the food is super expensive here too. Uh, but so is the salt. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that. And that gives me a little bit more room as far as the money. Um, let me do this. I actually want, oh, I forgot or didn't realize Godric can be leveled up. Let's make him a student. Let's give him some better melee skill, some better melee defense, and some fatigue. I wish I could increase this by about 15, but that's going to take a while. Okay, that is everybody. Wow, nobody is happy. They're all like okay on their morale. Content. All right. I mean, I guess that's fine. Let's see what kind of contract we can take. Uh, okay. I, it's only one skull, so I guess that's okay. 310, 80 now. Okay. I accept. So since I have a little money, let's try this. I can't recruit that guy. This guy's a tailor. Okay. I don't think I've ever recruited a tailor. So I mean I'm I'm open to it. An apprentice might be interesting. What is it what does it say about him? Hartwig the particular. Um uh, look the tailor. Now he looks for a new life. He's more deft with his hands than some card sharks. Yeah, okay, man. Whatever. I'll give you a chance. We are uh we're pretty open-minded. Let's just say that. So that's better. Well, yeah, it is better than what he had. And I'm going to give him a pitchfork because we're going to put him in the back. I don't have headgear or anything for him, but I think that's not the end of the world necessarily. We're going to put him in the interior as much as possible. <coughs> okay. Um... Can I buy cheap headgear? Because I would like something. That's fine. Um, you know, like, it's funny. Just that little bit could be the difference if somebody gets up on them from a really nasty injury. Oh, and I know what I said. I was going to look and see, like, could we... Well, I'm not going to for this time. If we're going to uh, to visit a fortress, then I really don't want to uh, 
equip a two-hander. Because if there's archers, I fear that guy will just get cut to pieces. All right, I hate to leave on a cliffhanger, but we really don't have time for a battle in this installment. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here and we'll pick it up right where we left off when we come back and we'll have that battle. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hope we see you next time.